Well ahoy there cruisers and welcome on board the recently refurbished Explorer of the Seas. She's had lots of new things added to her, so let's take you on a full walkthrough tour of this Royal Caribbean ship. We're starting our tour on the outdoor decks at the very top of the ship. This is where you find the main pool area. I really like this area, I do love the double pools, there's lots of hot tubs as well and most importantly there's lots of different seating areas which is something you don't find on some cruise ships. You also have this back area as well which is reserved for suites. So this is the family pool area and this is where you'll find lots of families and children and also there is a screen above the pool where sometimes they do show movies. Oh I could just get in one of those hot tubs right now they're calling my name. Just look at that sky isn't it just beautiful. We do love the Caribbean weather and Caribbean cruising where this ship can mostly be found as well as Europe in the summers as well. This is the smoking area which you'll find alongside the main pool area and also there is live vests that are available free of charge. There's also complimentary soft to serve ice screen stations on deck as well. Now on the very top deck you'll find the running or walking track and there are so many more sun loungers you are not going to find a shortage here on Explorer of the Seas. We did find it a little bit awkward having so many sunbeds around the running track especially if people were walking and running at the same time. It got a little bit crowded. The stairs up to another deck which is even higher with more sunbeds. We really do like the ship for that. There is so many places to sunbathe and relax. Doesn't she just look beautiful in that Caribbean sunshine? Anyway, let's move to the very front and top of the ship where there are more sun lounges. Yes, as we said, we're not making it up. There is absolutely no shortage. You're going to find a sunbed quiet somewhere on the ship. Also towards the front of the ship is the adults only solarium area. Now this is called a solarium area but it doesn't actually have a roof but it's a lovely adults only area retreat where you can escape from there, those kids. There's a large pool as well as two hot tubs and lots of comfortable lovely seats and obviously the solarium bar if you want to grab a drink. Now let's head to the fitness area and also the spa. This is quite unique as it has a large whirlpool in the entrance that's available to use for anybody. We've never seen this on any other ship before. Yeah, it's so unusual. I have no idea why that's here. As David said, we've cruised almost a hundred times and never seen this before. But yeah, it's a gigantic hot tub. As well as this, you've got lots of gym equipment as well. Lots of cardio stuff, lots of weight stuff. If you do choose to go to a gym whilst you're on holiday, personally, I think you're insane. The only thing I'm going to be lifting is cake from the buffet. And if you just want to relax, there's also a sauna and a steam room available free of use in both the male and female toilets. But yeah, I've got to show that pool again. It's something we've never seen. It's crazy. We really enjoy this class of ship. It's really beautiful. It isn't the newest type of Royal Caribbean ship, but they have some sort of charm that I can't put into words that are just really lovely. Anyway, let's move to the back of the ship where there's been some big changes. So as we move to the aft of the ship, we're going to pass Johnny Rockets. Now this is a speciality restaurant, meaning it's an extra charge, and they serve all American classics such as burgers and hot dogs. But top tip, if you come here for breakfast, it's actually complimentary, which is really great. You can choose to eat inside the little diner or outside with some great alfresco views. On the opposite side of the ship, you'll find lots of the kids clubs. 
as well as an arcade. Unfortunately, she does still look a little bit dated in areas. She was due to have a much bigger makeover in 2020, but due to COVID, this £110 million makeover was cancelled, and she had a much smaller makeover in March 2023, where now we're going to look at some of the brand new things that were added to the ship. So let's head to the very back of the ship. Oh, more sunbeds there. Just in case you couldn't find one at the front of the ship, there are more sunbathing options at the aft. And as we go up to the stairs, you'll see a brand new area. This is the brand new mini golf course, and it is so much better than what was here before. A brand new golf course, which is really fun for all of the family. And it's quite big as well. Very impressive, and we do love the new addition. And it's great because it's complimentary, so it's free to use. Just behind the mini golf course, you'll find a big sports court where you can play things like basketball, tennis and other sports, as well as a large climbing wall as well. Both of these are completely complimentary and included in the price of your cruise. Then, of course, you've got the floor rider, which is the surf simulator. Again, free to use. But the brand new biggest thing that's been added to Explorer of the Seas is the perfect storm slides. So two brand new water slides. You can actually race on these slides, which is really fun. So these have just been added in March 2023. Again, they are both complimentary to use and included in the price of your cruise. But what a fantastic addition. Don't they just look amazing? We love a good water slide on a cruise ship. Now we're going to head inside to one of our favourite spots on the ship. This is the Dizzy's Bar and Lounge. You'll find live music in here and a great bar, but what it does, it overlooks the whole of the ship and you get some fantastic sea views from up here. This is something you don't get on any of the newer ships and something that we miss from the design. It is a massive 270 degree panoramic window view and we just love it. Just look how bright and lovely it is in here especially on a night or a sunset. Obviously, there's going to be a bar and there's a little entertainment section as well where they put on live music and live performances. Also in this space, you'll find the entrance to the Diamond Lounge, which is for Diamond members. This is a great spot if you are very loyal to Royal. Inside you'll find a lounge with a tea and a coffee machine as well. They also do breakfast and also some evening snacks in here which is a great alternative. It's lovely with all those views outside those large windows. On the newer ships these lounges are actually located inside with no views so it is very nice to see this. As David said lots of nice snacks throughout the day as well as tea, coffee, juices all complimentary which is really fantastic. It's a lovely place to come and escape, read a book and enjoy those panoramic views. There's also a little outdoor area looking towards the back of the ship as well so you get some lovely views of the climbing wall, that brand new slide and the sports court. Also just off the lounge we have Azumi which is a speciality restaurant. This is a Japanese restaurant again with those fantastic views outside. It is an extra pay restaurant, so do be aware of that. Now, something that we don't often see on a cruise ship or ever visit is the Skylight Chapel. Now, there's one of these on most cruise ships. It's actually a chapel to hold services for religious events as well as weddings and things like that. But how cool is this? Getting the opportunity to see this. It's just above that lounge there, which is great. So it's right at the top of the ship. Now, one of the most biggest parts on any ship is the buffet, and this is the Wind Jammer Buffet and Marketplace, which is a huge area. As you enter, there's a bar, then there's lots of stations offering lots of different types of foods. It's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. It can get very busy in here. For some reason, they were closing half of the buffet on an evening and half of the seating, which meant it got very busy for some reason. But you're not going to go hungry on the ship. There's lots of different options, lots of different seating areas. Yeah, it's a great place to come if you just want a quick bite of informal food without having to get dressed up or anything.
Also, you'll find drinks stations here, so juices such as orange juice, iced tea, and also teas and coffees. Just off the buffet is another extra pay specialty restaurant. It's Chops Grill, which is the American Steakhouse. Again, we're loving all of these gorgeous panoramic views and big windows. It's something we love about this type of ship. Oh my gosh, some of these views are crazy, but just look how far down that is. That gives me vertigo. These ships are still massive, even though they're not the newest ones. On the mid-decks, you've got the Royal Caribbean online area, which is lots of computer desks. It is looking a little bit 90s and a little bit dated in here. Just below, you've also got the library as well, where you can come and borrow a book and just chill out. It's also a card room and games room as well. But look at those shelves. They could do with some more books, I think. You are offered some spectacular views of the Royal Promenade and central areas of the ship. We'll look at those in just a minute. So also in this space, you have the next cruise desk. This is where you can book your future Royal Caribbean cruise. It does get busy though. So if you do want to book a cruise, make sure you do it early in your sailing because on the last day you'll find long lines. You can get some great deals by booking on board that you can't get online or with your travel agent. But again, just look at these views. Isn't she just a beautiful ship? Now let's take a look at the Royal Promenade area. This is the very much heart of the ship where most things happen. First up, coming on the right hand side, you've got the guest services desks. If you have any problems whilst you're on board, come here and they'll sort it out for you. You'll usually find the first day and the last day of your cruise is the most busiest times to visit the guest services. So if you have any issues, we recommend going outside of those times. It's a gorgeous area filled with bars, restaurants, places to eat and places just to hang out. It's a really, really lovely area. We're coming up to the Champagne Bar now, which is a bar located just off the Royal Promenade. This area does look quite 90s, but we just love the theming here. It looks very, very cool. You've got some big seats, which are also picture frames. And it's just some crazy wacky design that we like. It's very, very kooky and nice. So the windows that you can see here overlooking the Royal Promenade are actually cabins that you can book. These are called interior facing cabins where instead of getting a view of the ocean, you get a view of the promenade. They are pretty cool and they are much cheaper than an ocean view cabin, but you still get some views. Now let's take a walk into the Royal Promenade. On both sides, you can see plenty of different shops, both designer shops as well as Royal Caribbean shops. Lots of artwork and lots of lovely areas just to chill out and relax. They also hold a nice parade in the promenade as well. And lots of different parties like a 70s night and things like that. So the whole promenade does come to life. On the right hand side, you can see a cheeky little shortcut to get to the lovely casino just below. And on the left hand side, you've got the Crown and Kettle. Now this is the British or maybe Irish styled pub. We do love the theming in here. It feels very, very authentic and it's a lovely place to come and relax. They also offer quizzes as well as live music in the pub as well. I feel like I'm right at home when we're in this pub. Yeah, me too. Anyway, what do you want to drink, David? A pint of bitter, please. What, you bitter? Royal Caribbean were the first to ever come up with anything like this and lots of other cruise lines have tried to copy it, but Royal Caribbean still do the Royal Promenade better than anybody else. It's such a fantastic area to come. It's crazy because sometimes you forget you're actually on a cruise ship. 
Anyway, on the right-hand side, you have the cafe promenade. Now, it's a little bit different. This is the cafe serving different types of food, but it also doubles up as the pizzeria as well. So you can get slices of pizza here as well, as well as those snacks, different drinks and things like that. And there's a big seating area as well as a coffee and tea station in here as well for complimentary soft drinks. You can also purchase ice cream from here as well, but don't forget there is that free ice cream on the top deck. I don't know about you, but I preferred soft serve ice cream to anything else. It's a so yummy. I prefer free ice cream to anything else. It's even yummier. Amen. There is a small little nook just at the back here that has some extra seating. A lot of people don't realise that that's there. So if it is quite busy at the front of the cafe, head to the back. As we said, all of this food is complimentary and it's available late into the evening as well as early mornings. It changes throughout the day. There's also those Coca-Cola freestyle machines to use your drinks package with. Lots of different types of Coca-Cola drinks, basically everything you can think of. Here's another look at those interior facing cabins, which actually are interior cabins if you're looking on the website and want to find them. Personally, for me, I don't love the idea of the interior cabins, but some people absolutely love them. And just to say, they are very well soundproofed, so you're not going to hear much from the Royal Promenade, even during party time. As we said, there's lots of different shops, including the Royal Caribbean shop with lots of merchandise. You can also get things like sun lotion, medical things, but do be aware that they're going to be much more expensive than on land. So we recommend bringing everything on the ship rather than buying it on the ship. Now at the very front of the ship is the palace. Now this is the main theatre where you're going to see West End and Broadway type shows, visiting acts, comedians and things like this. It's a huge theatre and a great space to see that amazing Royal Caribbean entertainment. We think that Royal Caribbean does the best theatres at sea. They are huge. Now, just behind the theatre, on the right-hand side, you have Giovanni's Table. Now, this is an extra pay specialty restaurant, Italian-themed. And just to the left of that, you have the Schooner Bar. This is one of our favourite bars on board. It's themed with a nautical theming, with lovely big windows looking outside as well. You'll find lots of live music on the piano, as well as trivia. And of course, that bar, bar to get some of your favourite drinks. This is a really popular bar and it does get busy for trivia, so make sure you arrive early to grab a spot. I recommend the Lavender Martini. It's very yummy, but very different at the same time. Now, moving towards the back of the ship, there's lots of seating here in Schooner Bar all the way down the sides. And then you're going to move in to the casino as well. It's a very large casino. It's not something we usually visit on board ships, but this one to us looks like a good one. Lots of machines, lots of tables and things to do in here. This is a smoking casino. And one thing we didn't like was you could smell the smoke from Schooner Bar. So there isn't any doors into the casino, which we would have liked to have seen added. Yep, we have no problem with people smoking. Just keep it out of our face. That's the only thing that we don't like. We totally respect that people smoke. But when it comes into other areas of the ship, it's not very pleasant for those who don't smoke. And it's something you don't really find on the newer ships. Most newer ships have a separate cordoned off casino for smoking and then one for non-smoking as well, which we much prefer. This is probably one of the reasons we don't go in the casino that much because I'm asthmatic and it's not very nice. I'm just tight. I'm from Yorkshire. Now we're going to head one deck down. How lovely is this area? How amazing do the, those stairs look? On one side, you have the Tavern Sports Bar. There are no playmakers on the ship. It was meant to be on during the big refit, but unfortunately, they just didn't get around to it. It is a nice little area with some windows, sports screens and things like that. And then moving around to the other side of this area is the gallery where you can buy things like pictures and paintings and things. We've heard some bad things about this, so possibly do look into buying art on cruise ships because there have been some controversies lately, lately about it. So make sure you check what you're buying before you actually do buy it. But it's free to look at. So if you did want a little bit of artistic inspiration or you wanted to kill five minutes, you could just come and have a look around.
Now let's move down yet another deck where we have Studio B. Now this is the onboard ice skating arena. Yes, you heard me right. An actual ice skating rink on a cruise ship. There's different shores on board as well as the chance to actually skate yourself, which is really fantastic. We do recommend it. There's nothing like skating on a cruise ship. Just opposite is the Focus Photo Gallery where you can buy things for your cameras as well as look at all of the photos the shipboard photographers have taken of you on the screens. Now, moving on to Deck 5, at the very front of the ship you'll find the Star Lounge. This is a rather large space that also hosts live music and quizzes. Now at the very back of the ship you've got the three storey main dining room. So there is only one main dining room on board and it goes over these three different decks and it is absolutely spectacular. Just look how grand it is. There's three different decks of seating all serving the same menus. It's just that some decks will be different to others. One deck might be the traditional set time dining whilst another deck might be the more flexible anytime dining. It's open for breakfast lunch on sea days as well as dinner every evening. The dinner menu changes every evening and we recently tried nearly every single dinner menu so make sure you check out that video because we show you what the food is like in the main dining room. Now there's also big windows in here which actually go outside to a lovely walk around deck so you can walk all the way around the ship which is really lovely there's some seats and it's a great place just to have a lovely little walk or run in the morning. What's fantastic is that you can get to the very front of the ship which is very unusual indeed. So you can actually walk onto the helicopter pad and then have your own little titanic moment as Jack and Rose. We just love it. This is also where our private helicopter lands and takes us off the ship. No it doesn't. Well, that's it for the ship tour of Explorer of the Seas. We do hope you enjoyed it. Please do hit that subscribe button and the like button because it really helps us out. Also, a big thank you to all of our patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, in return of your support, you get extra benefits, such as advert free videos, a behind the scenes videos, plus we do a live Zoom call every month. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.